I'm a senior, and when I think back to what my best memory is, it would be my freshman year when I started high school. Also, this building, the GCEC, when it first opened in 2013, that was the fall of 2013, that was, that coincided with my freshman year, my first year in high school. I like the new building with the glass roof. It is because it's the first school for the deaf in America. We have full communication access. We have access to an education and to a future. We have everything here. During my time here, the girls had not had won a basketball championship. The first year that I played basketball, we won the championship, and that's my best memory of all. I have fun. We have classes here that public school doesn't have. We have a culinary arts class. I think as a private school, we have more clubs, more programs, more special events. It's very interesting. I like ASD because I like my arts and crafts class. I like to draw in my sketchbook. I like the game hide and seek. That's my favorite. ASD is my second home. I started here in 1929. I got a very good education at ASD. Very good. Thanks to all of my deaf teachers. One of the teachers advised me and said that the world is not easy to live in. You will face many frustrations. You must accept them and be patient. If your boss asks you to do something, you need to do it. Don't be rebellious. Don't talk back. Just take it. Be patient. Make sure you obey your boss regardless of what they ask you to do. Just do it, even if you don't like it. The first time that I came to ASD, I was in shock. I couldn't believe all of these deaf people. It was amazing. The students and my peers, they were all deaf. I felt so inspired and touched to be with people that were just like myself. I felt very proud. I'm from Puerto Rico. We moved to America when I was three years old. When they found that I was deaf, they wanted me to have a good education and the schools here are better than in Puerto Rico. Again, I was very active in my junior and senior year with my classes. I was chairperson for the junior prom. There were so many things that I was involved in and those are really my best memories. In the School for the Deaf, I have other deaf friends. I also get in my education here. It's better than a public school for me. If I were in a public school, I would not be thriving as I am here. That's how I would compare an education in a public school and a school for the deaf. I would like to thank ASD for teaching me and providing me an opportunity to learn. My goal is to win the basketball championship for our 200th anniversary. I also would like to thank my family for placing me at ASD. And providing me with a future by doing so. Most of the time I hang around with people that make me laugh and are fun. Sports makes me laugh a lot. I remember the first time I was involved in sports, I was very quiet. And then I started to have a better time. So what I see here is there's the ability for deaf children, especially my children, to go to school here. They can use hearing aids and different devices. They have full communication access at the American School for the Deaf. We are a deaf family, and I think that's the reason it's important for my children to be here. There are activities and events that my children are involved in that I always go to. It's good for the parents to be here to show that we're there for our children and that they're very proud of what they're doing. And 
It creates memories for the children. ASD will make many memories for my children. Yes, a lot of positive change. And education has changed me, the school environment as well. I've realized that this is a good school for me. It's good for kids to learn in the same community. I feel more involved and more engaged in my classes. I think the activities that we do together are fun. We're all deaf, we're all the same. We're always able to communicate and we learn the same. History is my favorite thing because I can learn what happened in the past. It was whale watching in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. That memory impacted me because finally I could see the real things. I wasn't in school, I wasn't at home. It just hit me that day. It was very inspirational to see the real whales and the real animals in the ocean. It was beautiful and we learned the history. Brad taught us. We learned about Alice and Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet and how American Sign Language came to be. And I really have learned to love ASD more than my older school. I think my education here is better than it was in my other school. I feel like I learn more. I'm, and we're getting close to the 200th anniversary. I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling much better than I did in my other school. I feel more comfortable here. I can use ASL to communicate. I don't have to write. My parents sign. Very different communication-wise. A lot of things change. When I was in public school, I was very isolated, very lonely. I couldn't communicate with people. It was very difficult for me. When I went to, came to the school for the deaf, I didn't know any sign language. I just spoke. My first teacher was Bob Nitko. He taught me to sign. Very slowly, he taught me. And I had a student, another student, a girl, who was with me often, who forced me to learn to sign. It was a challenge. My parents lived in Puerto Rico. They're deaf, they were poor. When my older brother was born, Xavier, he was also deaf. My aunt lives in America and she knew about ASD. So my parents flew with Xavier here and there was another student that was a student at the American School for the Deaf that invited my parents to ASD. And they decided it was the best place for my brother. Two years later, I was born. And I, they wanted me to come to ASD as well because they already knew the school and that ASD had helped them. And also there was a good education here and there was no education for deaf people in Puerto Rico. So I'm very thankful to the American School for the Deaf. I'd like to go to Gallaudet University, and after graduating, I would like to come back to ASD and be a teacher. It would be great to have been a student here and then come back and teach. When I'm here in school, everyone understands my sign language. With my family, there might be some things that they don't know the signs for, but my mother knows how to sign. But sometimes it's a little difficult for my mother to understand me. I'm involved in the basketball team. We have a lot of activities in the dormitory every night, all sorts of activities. After I graduate, I would like to go to college, get my diploma. Then I would like to enjoy traveling for a while and either live independently or with a roommate. I want to become a nurse or a nurse's assistant for infants. All the teachers signed. The dorm supervisors signed. All my friends signed. All I want to say is thank you to ASD for raising me, so to speak. This is an awesome place. It's my second home.